Hello everyone, Man of Interest here, and woohoo! Thank you everyone, we did it. 10k subs. Thank you everyone so much. I think I'll try some kind of fun celebration video content that involves keyboards. I'll see what I can do for y'all coming up soon. But until then, we have this week in keyboards, and we have a lot of news. It's around the time where we're seeing all sorts of new interest checks and group buys for the month of February. So let's get to it. Starting off, we have EPBT Ramen Shop by Plop MK, who's running the set on a Kononut store and KBD fans right now. This harkens back to the popularity of EPBT Sushi, back when EPBT was newer in the community and everyone was buying that light blue and pink sushi set. That was the bee's knees back then. EBT, EPBT Ramen, though, is, quote, sushi on steroids, and I'd have to agree based on the slightly bolder color options chosen. A darker blue, a darker pink, and a cooler base color makes for a fun looking set. At $75 for the base kit, it's a pretty attractive offer for those who want to get into that thick PBT lifestyle with some fun die subbing. I haven't used an EPBT set in quite a while to be honest, so I'm probably going to get this one because it's only $75 and I just haven't used EPBT for so long. I think I only own one set and it's been so long ago. It's going to be running until the 22nd of the month, so get it before they're out. Next up, we have GMK Dandy by Sour of GMK Pono and GMK Wasabi fame. Sour is back with GMK Dandy, which is another green set coming from his direction. There are two base kits, the cream and green kits, which will be each be going for 140 40 US dollars. GMK Dandy is giving me a bit of a uh, strong cream cheese and green vibe, which I'm liking, very old school reminding me of. If you're into a uh, splash of green, it's not a bad decision to get this set. And while I don't think it fits in my budget this month, I choose the green base kit personally. This set's going to be running until March 3rd. Our next spotlight topic is GMK Umka from Tomberry. First introduced as a subset in GMK Carbon Round 2, Umka digs itself out of under its uh, brother's success to run on its own. GMK Umka is black on cream, which is currently running on Prime Keyboards and Oblotsky Industries. The, uh, and other proxies worldwide. Base kit, $130. It's going to be running until the end of the month. It's simple and it'll probably look nice on most keyboards if you want a little bit more color than white on black. It's going to be running until the end of this month, so get it while it lasts. Next up for spotlights, we have GMK Maestro by Hong Heng Dai Lo. This set will run uh, from February 12th until March 12th, and it's an off-white cream and a black set with an ochre yellow as the accent. Really the bee's, knee of, bee's knees of this set are those beautiful novelties. The novelties are amazing, they're going to make or break the set, and they really make it and they work well with that classic black on ivory keys just like a piano. $135-ish for the base kit, $6 for the accents. If you're going to get it, you better get it with those accents, that's what really seals the deal. And there are a decent amount of topics this week. But if I had to crown the topic of the week, I think I'd have to give it to GMK Dots 2 by Beep. A lot of people have been looking forward to this set, myself included. This set's running once again on novel keys, and either base kit will cost you $130. That's right, either base kits. GMK Dots Round 2 now has a light and dark version, with the light base being the newest addition for this round. Another popular addition is definitely going to be that... Uh, rainbow add-on kit and light and dark respectively um, because it's going to add a lot of nice colored dots through the keyboard a little bit more colorful flair personally if i was going to run gmk dots i'd run it with the classic white dots nice and simple dark theme i think i'll get this set but we'll have to see it's definitely on my list though okay with all, all of that out of the way it's time for the rapid fire pew, pew. the iron 165 is back for round two and it'll be running on February 27th, 2021, with deeper gaskets, a top case height increase for keycaps that aren't as deep as GMK, a revised PCB, and further optimizations to the aluminum plates. GMK's Hiberia is a set confused on how to color code its sublegends. GMK white on black and black on white Hangul round two is exciting because of that row five supports. The Vost 60 is a gasket or bottom mount 60% with a simple aesthetic. Keep the price low, and people are definitely going to have fun with it. 
DSS Carpentaria is inspired by a sunset over said city in California. I don't think it looks that bad. GMK Sean Chewy 2 just interest checked right after the conclusion of round one, so I guess they're striking the iron while it's hot by unveiling round two, which will be a white on black version of the set. DSA 1930 has this cartoon outline to its alphanumerics, but that doesn't work in context of the modifiers. Either have everything with those cartoon outlines or none of it. GMK Fuji is a cool and muted cool gray on dark gray set with pink accents. The alphas look fine and I hope the modifiers have enough contrast because that's the worry spot right now. CRP Classic Hangul is CRP with pink Hangul sub-legends and Win95 keys. I don't mind me some more CRP so bring it on, hopefully at an affordable price point and thank you for row 5. The SPRH is a wild board. It's a 65% ortho that's still compatible with standard keycap sets for the modifiers and other non-1U keys. It looks a bit mental, but for those who like the ortho linear typing style but want a larger board um, and more meaningful compatibility, here you go. The Nitwimp 60 Win Keyless looks like um, it's going to be a $500 made and designed in America case with a co pretty cool aesthetic. I actually like it quite a bit. It looks simple, it looks clean, I like that swoop. I just wish the price was a tad lower. The BIOI G60 BLE Rev2 PCB and Core 60% case I see are happening right now. That PCB has a lot of compatibility, a spiffy Bluetooth module, um, and has a little battery. The case will fit all of that. And if you get a case plate, uh, FR4 plate and PCB, it's gonna be under $200 which is going to be an interesting option for newcomers who really want Bluetooth. GMK Benjamins is a set all about all hail the mighty dollar. Color-wise, I think it's a really good representation of the color of Benjamins without going overboard on the greens, which would typically be the biggest worry for a set like this. GMK Hunt is another green set, which is kind of like GMK Camping Edgy Edition. It's not horrible, though. The Therian 40 is a 40% case with unique aesthetic and unique features like gasket, uh, mount, magnet mount construction, and a 100% screwless assembly. The Moesod Bliss is a TKL inspired by the DK Savers F13 layout. It's simple, it's clean, $450, it'll probably do fine. EPBT Pomelo is our week's food inspired interest check. It's inspired by a pomelo, which is a, it's a big grapefruit. I'm not really feeling it, but I'm also not a big fan of grapefruits. Cat Slurps Group I is alive until March 8th, and I think people will consider picking this set up for the color aesthetic. It's kind of like that in your face soda in the 90s kind of aesthetic. Not my cup of tea, but I wouldn't be surprised to see this set in pictures of a keyboard tagged Cyberpunk. Well, that's it for this week in keyboards. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button and ding ling ding that bell to keep up to date with more incoming videos. Thanks to everyone so much. I hit that 10k sub mark. It's not really a big deal, but it is for me. Uh, so thank you everyone so much for your support and continuing to watching this content. More videos and streams coming soon. But until then, keep on keyboarding. Pew, 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 pew.